What up? Freestyle. F R W E S T Y L E. Coming back with it again. What's up, guys? Just doing it, doing it, doing it right. Freestyle. Um, taking it easy. You know, just coming back with a bit of a different one for you guys. Woo! You know, they say I don't sound enthusiastic enough i don't give a fuck about sounding enthusiastic because i'm freestyle steve i sound the way i want i'm always sound relaxed word up but anyway all right this is an unboxing and this could hmm, looking at it i'm wondering what you would classify this unboxing as it could be considered a piece of tech depending on how you look at it and how you use it how you use it it definitely can be considered a music related item. So, you know, this video is going to be a video of some parts. You know, I want to go ahead and get on this unboxing. Um, I also just wanted to check in and say what's up. You know, just going to keep coming with it. I've, I've got tons of games I got to play, you know, so I'll definitely get some recordings into that. Getting closer to getting my gaming system. I, I want to balls out and get the best of the best you know want to get something with at least with that gtx 1080 graphics card i want to go all out but it's gonna send me back man you know i mean the, the system i'm looking at is about two grand please like i could get something cheaper i mean you know i really can and I'm, I'm not the most hardcore by all means you know i'm just i dabble my feet and i, I could definitely probably get something for about 1500 with the 980 but I want, I want the 1080, I want to go balls out, but I don't know, we'll see, the price is a little heavy, but, um, you know, yeah, just, that's that, so just saying what's up, you know, update status, um, got this, like I said, this, this, um, unboxing here, I gotta do in a minute, it, it's a microphone, you know, it, it, it's not like a USB mic or anything like that, this is a, a real mic, you know, a, a recording mic, I have, two recording mics i have like a couple cheap mics um one of them is really really good i've never used it though it seemed really really sensitive when i used to try to use it back in the day and i i never used it much it's it's a mxl but they, it's an mxl that they don't make anymore yeah they, they make other versions of it but this this one that they have they they don't make that ver that i have they don't it, it's like the Megami mxl one they, i don't know if they have those versions anymore or not i don't think so so, um, okay, so with that out of the way, this other one, and, and I haven't, and the, the one I use mainly, which you, you've heard my couple freestyles I did, it's a pretty nice mic, it's an MXL mic as well, it's a V63M, it's pretty balanced and stuff, you know, I actually like the way it sounds. Um, this one's probably going to be similar, but this one's got more of a wider how would you put it, wider diaphragm, I guess you could say. It, it's probably, you know, make the vocal sound a little nicer. I mean, that's not necessarily always true, as the mic I use now has, has more of a, a, a slimmer diaphragm. It still sounds good, though, but, I mean, just this one This one was on sale, too, you know. Uh, let me see what it was. I got to go over here, um, and, you know, and I didn't necessarily need need a mic. I just saw this, and I thought, oh, that's cool, you know. And it was on sale. Let's see if it's still on. Yeah. No. Actually, it's not. Dang. What's crazy is it, it went back up, guys. It went back up to, um, it went back up to $99.99. And it actually was on sale day before yesterday. It's the uh, MXL 990 condenser microphone. And then I, I I did I got a good deal on it shit I'm glad I'm actually glad I got it you know I, and I didn't need an another mic I don't hardly even use the one I got but I just thought if I can get you know a decent cheaper <clears throat> a decent quality recording mic for cheaper you know or for cheap let's put it that way then I was down I mean I want to get into hopefully recording some vocals you know doing some stuff that I can say hey you know that's actually a track I'm I'm proud of that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I did that, you know, that's cool, instead of just freestyling or whatever, just, you know, I want to get my friend, I think he's probably going to have a little bit more time to come around, you know, it took him a while to settle down, he's, you know, he's got a lot of kids now, so you, you can't really get down like you used to when, um, you know, when you don't have kids, me, 
fortunately at the moment I don't have any, so that's why I'm able to do, you know, more stuff than a lot of my friends that do. But, um, so yeah, it was just, you know, kind of spur of the moment. I, I really didn't need it, and I was just looking at some random stuff, and it was on sale for fifty nine ninety nine, which ain't a bad price, because like I said, I looked at it right now, and it's ninety nine ninety nine. I think I, I think I ordered this, like... Jeez, it might have been like Saturday or something, you know, for Musician's Friend. And it was fifty nine ninety nine. And I was just looking, I don't even know what I was looking for. I think I was looking randomly at some DJ gear, you know. And just looking at prices of things. And I was actually going to get a capture card, but, you know, I got to do my homework on those. And I don't know if I want to step into Elgato right away since they're a little bit more... I mean, it, it, it usually pays off to buy what is probably considered the best, you know, or if I can get a cheaper alternative that's just as good but might be, you know, 30, 40 bucks cheaper. So I didn't jump into the capture card. I was going to get that, and I was just looking on Musician's Friend, and like I said, I got this for fifty nine ninety nine, and I thought 60 bucks, you know, comes with the case and everything. It's it's The MXL line of mics are, are pretty known for being decent, cheap recording condenser microphones, you know, like, like I said, you... You can check out the freestyles that I did with mine just to hear the quality. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's definitely not a bad sounding mic. And, you know, and if I paid attention to doing my recordings better and actually, you know, spruced them up with the freestyle recording that I did, it would sound a lot better. So I just, you know, knowing that these guys make a decent product and 60 bucks, I mean, you know, that's for, for a, you know, a recording mic. This ain't a, a, a normal mic that you see, you know, you might see somebody use at like an event or something is usually a dynamic microphone, which, you know, it, it's, they're not for recording. They're, they are, they're like PA mics more for probably like live sound and stage as this is for, you know, recording tracks and stuff. So, you know, I just thought I'd get it. And like I said, now looking at it now, a couple of days later, it's back to ninety nine ninety nine. So fuck yeah, I saved 40 bucks, 59 bucks. I got it for it. So let's go ahead and get this open so yeah that and i just like i said i wanted um wanted to check in say what's up you know also um i'm thinking of i mean it, it's i don't know how you know it, what it's gonna do for me now but i'm thinking of dropping a cd you know finally shit up uh, my my stuff's probably 20 15 years overdue now but i mean it's not gonna be anything big you know but I mean, you see my page. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start off slow. I wanna drop, you know, a couple CDs, and the, the raps are gonna be way later. That, that'll probably be the last. But I've got enough beats to make, you know, tons of beat CDs, and I mean, I, I got tons and tons, and you know, that's what I wanna do. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna probably drop maybe like a house techno EDM CD, you know. Like, of course, it's going to be free, all, all my stuff. I mean, I, and, you know, I, I do produce a lot of my stuff originally, so, you know, I don't use samples in a lot of my stuff, so, you know, I, I don't necessarily have to release it all for free because, you know, uh, probably 75, 80% of it is, is, you know, me. I, I program stuff with my instruments and my synthesizers, and, you know, I, I take samples and chop them and do all the, all that stuff, you know, that everybody does, so, but... You know, my first, since this will be a first CD of any sort, you know, I mean, compared to me just putting together a bunch of beats, putting them on a CD and giving them to my friends or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm going to actually go, you know, the extra yard to say, and, you know, just like everybody does, make, you know, a front page and a back CD insert, you know, front cover, back cover, track list. So I'm, I'm going to try to make it what I guess you could say a web CD. There we go. Let's put it that way what a web CD will be, you know, it's not going to be professional or anything, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to probably do most, uh, you know, the logo artwork, um, thumbnail stuff m myself, you know, it, it, I mean, if anything, maybe I'll just take a good picture of myself, put it on, on a thumbnail background, and that'll be the cover, you know, but I'm, I'm going to try to make something that resembles a CD, let's put it that way, okay, here's three style Steve's, um, EDM hits or something, you know, and maybe I'll put it for like download at that piff and you know Maybe rapid share or whatever and you know, I'll, I'll have like of course It's gonna have every every track gonna be separate and stuff, but I'll have like the artwork in there You know like the cover thumbnail for um, the front cover 
the back cover with the track list, whatever, you know, just like when you look at mixtapes on that PIF or anywhere that you download free CDs or, you know, something like that. And usually, you know, you'll download a CD from artists and some artists you'll just get the CD and it'll be the CD with the tracks and that's cool. But sometimes it'll include, you know, the CD cover, like the front or insert artwork, you know, like the front insert artwork or the back um, insert. Art. I know you guys get me, you know what I'm talking about. Or the back insert artwork or whatever. I mean, I'm not going to physically probably, you know, distribute. That's why I said it's a web CD. You know, I'm not going to distribute these CDs locally. I mean, I might. It, it depends, you know, but I doubt it. But anyway, I, it just, if I release it for you guys, you know, and everybody out there, I, I want to at least have maybe like some artwork or some track list, you know, cover thumbnail, which shouldn't be too, too hard. But definitely I want it to kind of more resemble a CD than just, putting together a bunch of tracks and okay there's my cd you know so that's about that okay so we're gonna get on this unboxing a little bit um i wanted to say possible web cd i'm gonna drop i'm gonna drop quite a couple you know the raps and lyrics and vocals will come way later if ever you know but i definitely have enough freestyles in the vault to probably do a freestyle cd so maybe i'll even put together like freestyles freestyles or something the mixtape you know because there's my all my freestyles are pretty much mixtape style you know even the tracks i would do with my friends i would just try to write something couldn't do it get up and go so you know maybe i'll put together all that stuff you know it's I'm not going to be an official rap cd or an official cd cd of me you know vocally making tracks but it'll be all my freestyles and stuff so <clears throat> maybe i'll do that i'll put together like freestyles freestyles you know and freestyles edm hits and then you know i got tons of hip-hop beats so maybe i can do like theme them out and put some together like freestyles like east coast sounding beats or freestyles west coast sounding beats or freestyles underground sounding beats you know so i want to try to do that i want to try to actually put you know some stuff together and make it more like a cd which i, I think Back in the day, I, I you know, I, I was always making music, but I never got into the, what you would call probably the multimedia end of it, you know, making CDs, printing, artwork. I mean, my boy Nameless did early on, you know, his his first Music for Enemies album, you know, I don't, I don't know where, if he got that done somewhere or what, but it, you know, it looks halfway like he did it himself, but just the paper it was printed on was that brown carbon paper. I think he actually you know, did the stuff himself and actually paid to get some of it mass printed back in the day because, you know, it's not like your normal white paper that, we, you know, you would use standard. It's, it's brown. It's it's almost like recyclable brown, like CD insert paper. Yeah, it's weird. But I'm okay. So that's that. And um, that's pretty much it. I guess this was just really more of a check-in saying what's up, you know, um, going to possibly try to work on a cd i'll definitely keep you guys updated on my progress with that you know and i'll definitely upload it to places where you can download it um i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this uh this microphone right here so you guys can see this and um, the same old stuff man i'm gonna keep coming with the beats keep coming with the the game playing stuff you know like i said next month is my good old birthday so i, I don't know what i'm yeah, I want a gaming computer bad. I mean, I don't need any more stuff to make beats or music correlated things. You know, I want a DJ setup too to, to kind of spin house music and stuff. But those Pioneer CDJs are so expensive. They're like two grand a piece. I don't have that kind of money, three grand a piece, you know. But I mean, I don't know. Even a decent deck like that is still like about 700 bucks. The Newmark one is probably the cheapest and it's actually a fairly high-end one but you know that's still 700 bucks but then again that's not nearly as much as you know my two thousand dollar personal gaming computer that i want so we'll have to just wait and see i mean i, I really don't see myself spending that much but i want it bad so i kind of do but i i could feel more comfortable probably around the thousand dollar to about fifteen hundred dollar range like fifteen hundred dollar range can probably get me something with with I bet a nine eighty nowadays, you know for sure. Like definitely, but damn, for almost about two grand, I can get that ten eighty. Cyber Power PC has a setup, you know. It's it's like eighteen eighty nine. Get it shipped out the box. Boom, ten eighty. There you go. Set up, you know. I think for like six. It might only have eight gig of RAM, but when you got that ten eighty, you know. 
and it's got an i7 Skylake and just probably other quality parts. But all right, done with my spill. Let's get on to my fucking unboxing. All right, guys. So this, like I said, I'm glad I got this. No shit, man. I just, I'm just looking at musician's friend right now out of curiosity. I was like, let's see if this mic is still. $59.99. So I fucking saved $40 when I got it. Oh yeah, you know it. That's what's up, guys. That's what's up. Oh, that's sweet, sweet. You know what would be funny is if they charged me $99. Bucks. Nah, Musicians Friends is cool. They've, they've never messed up. They've all, I've ordered from them for years. And the reason why is because back in the day, I live in a littler town, you know, I mean, it's not the littlest, I'm sure people live in little places than me, but we didn't have Guitar Center, the closest Guitar Center was about 35, 40 miles away, so I, I would never drive that far, especially when you're like 15 years old and you're not driving yet, and you want to, you know, so my first instance of any kind of music instruments was my friend, he actually had the musician's ca friend's catalogs and I, I remember seeing them you know from him and i was like wow how'd you get those and he got those by going to a pawn shop he went to one of the pawn shops here and i guess the pawn shop owner had a subscription and he's like well it's pretty cool you know and he's like yeah just call him so my friend called him and hurt me too early on like geez this was even before probably you could even sign up for a subscription on the internet this was like in 1995 you know so it was that 21 years ago so um, <clears throat> i remember calling them you know i was like you know and they answered their line and i was like can i get a uh you know i didn't even know what i call that time, like a mail order catalog or i think i called it mail order magazine they knew what i were talking about though you know they were right away yeah let's go ahead and do that for you so right on and then they sent it to me you know got it like three weeks later and i've, I've got it ever since I've, I've literally got their uh let's see their um their catalog their magazine for 21 years about I think it it it, it might have been twenty years, might have been ninety six, but I don't know. It, it was pretty early on when they first started, you know, putting them out there like that. So that's cool. They've always been good, you know. They, they I personally think I've found better deals on Musicians Friend than Guitar Center. I've got some deals with Guitar Center too, where they'll give me like for Christmas like a twenty dollar off coupon, and but I don't know like this for nine, this for fifty nine bucks. Now it's back at ninety nine, you know. And even, um, what was the last thing I bought from them? I think it was that Snowball mic. I think even that Snowball mic, they had a sale on that for like 49 bucks or like 39 bucks. And I think those were like originally sixty nine ninety nine, seventy nine ninety nine, or something in equipment like that. Oh, and even my, my APC, my little, uh, that little APC, not the keys, but the APC mini, those I think were originally like. Jeez, they were like one twenty nine. They went down to ninety nine. I got mine for fifty nine, and then I remember like a couple days later checking, and it was like back up to like ninety nine. You know, I got it on time though because I had the APC key, and I didn't want the key, so I, I sent that one back to musician's friend, and I got you know the mixer, which I wish I would have kept the key because I don't use the buttons as much, but I'll still get a mini um mini keyboard. But all right. Uh, a mini midi keyboard so let's go ahead and get into this with you know excuse all my rambling that's what she looks like it is the mxl 990 so this is a pretty versatile microphone you can use it for vocals acoustic guitars you know like violins and stuff piano percussion you know there's a lot to it and it's a nice looking microphone too it's a gold color so you know that's uh the front of the case here's um Here's the the back of the case right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just a little description tells about it. And I, I hope you guys are getting good lighting. I have my normal light that I usually use. I have it off. My I guess you could say my ceiling light, which is that like yellow bright light. So I have both these uh, white lights on. And my little lamp, which I use for my normal light, I am... Um, I have a, a white light in there, like a CFL light, and then this uh, umbrella light. I, I thought I'd break out the umbrella light for this video, and I have the white light bulb in there too. So to me, it seems kind of dark, darker than it usually is with the the normal yellow ceiling light. So I, I hope that the light and stuff don't look bad.
bad, and I think I got it placed correctly. I mean, I can't really, you know, I, I'm just wanted to get it where the light shows the best, I guess. You know, it's, it's really hard to know what's good. But that's the back of it. That's the side of it. Okay, that's the other side. All right. <clears throat> so, box looks like a pretty nice, decent box. But this is what's cool. For 60 bucks, guys. I mean, now it's 99 99 so now it went up you know pretty much 50 bucks you figure i got it for 60 bucks and it's 100 bucks so it went up 40 bucks but what's cool is it comes with a snazzy little case look at this crap that's kind of cool so you got a nice box that comes with it you know and then it's got a good, cool little plastic case it, it, it feels decently sturdy it does feel plastic but i mean you know you drop this thing and Oh, well, if you dropped it hard, you could possibly crack it, but it's definitely going to protect the mic. But look at this shit. Mine already had a crack in it, it looks like. I wonder if I should tell a musician's friend. I could be cool and not even say anything. Or I could be an asshole and just say, look, little crack right there, guys. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll point him to the link in this video. But then, it, you already know, you're going to get the short end of the stick. They ain't going to cover anything. And, you know, the thing, too, is usually I get warranties and all that for this stuff. I ain't going to get them anymore. I always get, like, two-year warranties for everything, and it usually never breaks. Well, for electronics, maybe it's good. This is an electronic, but, I mean, I'm not going to probably use this a whole lot and bash it up. And, I mean, it's going to stay here, so I, I just didn't decide to get a warranty this time but i think for my apc i did you know so but i mean it is there is a little i don't know if you guys can see that and that's from the factory too so you know somebody dropped it or banged it up there but that's okay you know it's it's as long as it's not broke 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 terribly bad you know so i mean like i said it is a plastic case and being the fact there's already a slight little uh puncture there it, it, it's good enough to probably protect the mic, no doubt. But I mean, if, if you throw this, like, ugh, just grab this shit and go, boom, and were to slam it on, like, the concrete or the street, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's going to chip off a bit or break, or, you know, you're, you're going to definitely probably get one of those. You know, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yeah, that's... But other than that, it, it seems to be intact. So let's go ahead and open it. So you can see it just opened with these two uh, things right here. All right, so look at the case. The case is pretty smooth. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice looking case, you know. And you know, of course, it's got your perforated. Everything slides in nice. I know you guys could probably see the mic on the bottom there, and then the top right there has got um, you know, that to go over it. So definitely, okay. Here's everything that comes with it. This is like a mic clip, you know, it's just to hook it on to your uh, mic stand. I think that's a mic clip. I, I, you know, I have another one of those. So it comes with that. I don't know if you guys could see that, you know. I don't really want to hook it up. I don't feel like doing that. You could look up tutorials and stuff to show you how to do that. This is just really the unboxing. So there's a mic clip. That's kind of cool, you know. Cool, cool, cool. We got that. And, and this is definitely a good mic, guys. You can you can use this mic for anything, you know. This is the type of mic all you guys that are doing game recordings, you know. I mean, well, depending on if you get that serious. And they're always trying to get you into getting mics like the Snowball. And I haven't heard the Yeti. I hear a good thing. I got the Snowball. and I only tried it a couple times, but I thought it sounded thin. I didn't really give it a full, you know, vocal use or whatever. I didn't really like it. It was actually kind of a waste of money. I bought it, like... You know, I bought it and I've used it like twice, if even, not even for full recording, it's just a test. So the Snowball, I can't really say I favor. The Yeti, they say, is good. And I think I have even came across people that use the Yeti on a YouTube that actually make music and their vocals sound pretty damn good. So I'm pretty impressed with that. But, you know, it's still, I think that's, what is that, 169 bucks, 149 So now if the Yeti would have been on sale for 59 bucks, that would have been nice, you know, or even like 69 but. The Yeti's a little expensive, you know, but if you have a mixer and stuff, and like I said, you're trying to get into being more serious, stepping your game recordings up, you know, I mean, people are buying better mics like those snowballs or whatever. You can use 
headsets, headphone earbuds with the mic, you know, headsets with the mic. But if you have an interface or a mixer and you want to, you know, get even better quality, get you something like this. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. This mic right here probably smokes a Yeti. I mean, I don't know, you know, any of you audio heads or whatever, you can argue with me. That's cool because I'm just assuming that. But just the basis off the pure fact that I, isn't that a USB mic, that it's a USB mic, you know, it, it is. It's probably considered a USB recording condenser mic. I don't know. Just for some reason, I don't think you're going to be able to get off of a Yeti what you can get off. This is, you know, a, a pure recording mic right here. This is a real recording mic. You know, it's not like a USB. This is XLR connected. So I think, it, and it depends on the engineer and the person recording and if they know what they're doing. But somebody that knows what they're doing, you know, I think they can get probably a little bit better of a recording off of a mic because yeah like i'm saying this is even though it was cheap you know and i mean still 100 bucks might not be cheap for everyone but it's definitely not the most expensive you know 59 bucks definitely that's probably what enticed me to buy it i mean i really don't need it but i think it's going to come in handy and i'm going to use it just because i have it now i'm going to probably put my other mic away and I'm sure next time I, I get in touch with you guys, you know, I might do a test freestyle. You guys can see me do one of those live sessions, get behind the mic and rip, or maybe I'll record a freestyle or something, but I'm definitely going to get into it. But yeah, if you're looking to step up, you know, damn, this, this for 60 bucks, everybody doing these game recordings and stuff, this is the fucking way to go. You can go ahead and, and pay a little more money and get your Yeti. If that ever goes on sale, get that too. The Snowball, I don't know, but something like this, man. Look out at these, you know, music sites like Guitar Center, Musician Friend, Pro Sound. Uh, I'm, I already just know for for fifty nine ninety nine that I I didn't go wrong with this at all, you know. Now if there's something wrong with it, Musician Friend is pretty good. They'll hook me up. But yeah, this was definitely kind of an impulse buy, but it, I, I I'm not regretting it. It was a good impulse buy. So that's the mic itself, you know. I mean, I don't want to take it out of the plastic, but basically. You know, that hooks into your cord and it goes into your mixer. Well, of course, you'll have it on your mic stand already set up to go, so you're good there. So that's a, that's a microphone. <clears throat> okay. So this is these are shock mount rubber bands. Basically, sometimes your rubber bands and your shock mount, they'll get worn out or they'll stretch out. Or I don't know if you sometimes need to put, like, more than one on it but they usually come with it so those those are shock mount rubber bands i don't know if you can see that and uh this right here is a shock mount so this is how i like to hook them up you know some people their microphone stand i think some of the older stands or something they can't necessarily take a shock mount you know so they'll have a pot filter and just have it on a mic clip like that which i'm not sure how my stand works but this mic might actually be the type where you I'm not sure where well, you need to put it on a shock mount like this, but I, I like using shock mounts anyway. So this is the shock mount right here, you know, just basically holds it into place. You'll, um, this is basically what you would do is you'll put it in there like that. It'll fit in there, you know, and then you'll, um, but see this opens and closes. Yeah. It, it's got next, watch this. Look, see how it opens and closes. So if, if you want to fit the mic in there, you squeeze that. You put it in there as much as you can. Of course, with the plastic off, it'll slide right through. And then, you know, you're good to go. That's how it fits. So, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool setup there. But, yeah, for $59.99, guys, I mean, you get the mic. You get the accessories with it. You know, the box itself is a, <laughs> is a pretty sturdy, groovy-looking box, you know. And you get this nice little case to protect it, so... And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to sound good. I'll do the test and it should sound on par with the other freestyles that I've recorded. You know, maybe better, maybe not, but I'm going to say it's going to sound... I'm going to say it's going to sound close, if not better. You know, what's funny is these the, the other mic I have is the same price. I got the other mic for the same price, too. What a trip. Ain't, ain't that a coincidence? It's an MXL V63M and it's $99.99 now. And I got it on a $59.99 deal, too, when I grabbed that one. So, you know, you always got to look. But I don't know which one's better. This one definitely has more reviews. This one has, like, geez, like 650 reviews. The other one don't have as many reviews. I think the other one is a newer model, though. I think the other, the, the model of that mic, 
the V63M, I think that just came out like not too long ago, you know. I think it's only like maybe a year and a half, two year old mic as these MXL line have been around for years. You know, I got my MXL 992 like 10 years ago and I got it from a buddy actually, a friend of mine just, you know, I would always hook him up with with certain stuff back in the day, programs and sounds and, you know, just random samples and we would just do a massive trade and he um just ended up giving and giving it to me. I think he got a bonus from work and bought a lot of real high end stuff like those Newman mics and you know, nice stuff. And he sent me that a uh, nine ninety two. You know, and it, it it's it's like this. It got a case, but the case on that one is like a metal case. You know, let, let me go ahead and break it out. I'll I'll show you this one. This one's nice, and it it's got two mics. It's got the mic that looks like what I just showed you, the MXL. You know, it's got this mic. But it's also got a long skinny mic, so that's like an instrument mic for drums and stuff. But this is the case for that one. So look at the case on this bad boy. This is like you know heavy duty, like case right here. You know compared to that little uh, that little case. But yeah, I've never really used this. I, I I'm glad I have it. I mean when I tried to use it back in the day, like I said, it was really sensitive. Like it just was really seemed to pick up everything. And I I don't know if maybe. I just wasn't messing with it right. I didn't really like it, you know. But, um, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bounce, you know. I just wanted to do a quick check-in, say what's up, you know. I'll continue my beats, games, and whatever else I got going. It seems to be working, you know. I'm not going to change everything up. Um, I was going to try to go on a schedule, but my schedule is so sporadic, I, I can't really <laughs> go on a schedule. So just expect uploads from me whenever, you know. I'll try to do them more in the day, though. I notice sometimes, you know, when when I upload, like, you know, nobody's going to check my shit at 2 in the morning. You guys are sleeping, you know. And the next day, you know, you, you probably won't know. So I'll try to do stuff during the day, you know. But, um, yeah, I just want to check in, say what's up. I'm going to continue what I'm doing. It seems to be working, you know. I'm getting a sub here and there, so that's cool. Um, Just wanted to unbox this mic. You guys seen that? And just an update saying what's up, what's going on. Um, probably trying to put together a CD. That was really like what I was saying, a web CD or a web release, you know. So hopefully I can get on that in the future and I'll have something for you guys. I mean, you can hear my stuff on YouTube anyway. But I will put together, you know, a, a CD with a track list, you know. And actually something I feel is so I can say, hey guys, check out my CD, you know, and download it. So you can download all the songs at once, you know, and actually play it like as if it was a CD, you know, from track one to track 13. I mean, you can listen to my playlist of stuff on YouTube, too, and play that like you're listening to a CD or something. But I'm going to definitely try to put something together in that aspect. I don't know which which style I'm going to start first. It's definitely not going to be the rap because I'm, I'm not comfortable with recording yet, only freestyle and doing that stuff. But it'll probably be a beat CD, but I think I'm going to go for an EDM or a house kind of CD first. I don't know why, you know, probably just because I've been doing hip-hop beats forever, and, you know, I have tons and tons that are just stocked up, you know, new ones that I'm pumping out, and old ones that I haven't even gone through yet, so I don't know if I'm going to do the hip-hop thing right away. It would make sense since I probably have more hip-hop beats so than EDM, but I definitely want to get, like, an EDM or dance or, like, break beat or house or that kind of genre out. So I want to put together some of the, you know, I have about 30, like, that kind of genre of tracks on my YouTube. And they're all varied. They're not, like, some are deep house, some are kind of, like, more trance, some are, like, more percussive techno. So they all vary. But what I'd like to do is put, maybe get, you know, get them together. And the ones that are kind of similar, like, okay, these can all fit on a deep house CD. These are more, like, tech house. This is more, like, trance. Just put them together and group them and, and put a CD out, you know. Say, okay, here's um, Steve's Deep Steve's Deep House Hits, you know, 10-track CD. So, I def like I said, I definitely want to work on that. Then I'll do, like, a beat CD, you know. I have tons there. That, that shouldn't be too hard to get going, you know, because I have more hip-hop beats than I do house and techno and all that kind of stuff. So, I definitely want to do a beat CD and... um. Yeah, that's so we'll do techno and that kind of related genre first. We'll do the hip hop beat CD next. <clears throat> and then maybe I'll finally get in the lab and 
put a mixtape out, you know, download some beats from songs I like and maybe popular songs. And I'd put out like a mixtape and then I'll put out like a half and half mixtape with maybe like my beats and like mixtape beats or maybe my beats and just some free beats that i can find on youtube you know maybe there's some other free royalty beats i don't know if they're royalty free but you know they should i'm releasing royalty free beats every now and then but maybe i'll find some other free beats you know on youtube that i can play with and, and add them to my mixtape so we'll see but i'm gonna bounce guys you know i'm gonna go ahead and call it and just get on with the rest of the night and you know i'm gonna put this packaging and stuff away and just call it a night man so all right, you guys be cool. I was going to click off with this, but I'm pretty sure this video is way too long. You know, this thing dies out after like five minutes. But I'm all right, so I'm out. Peace. Yep, I knew it, guys. Look at my shirt. Dragon Ball Z. I like this one, though, in particular, because I've never seen this one. I've seen a ton of other Dragon Ball Z shirts that are like, that are like the same. You know, like I, 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 I've seen them around, and but I, I've, this one's kind of a, a more obscure, rare one. Like, look, watch, even even look shit up on eBay. I bet you won't find this. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, cool, man. All right, guys. Well, word up. Peace.